The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot, as well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could be possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to a new foes appeared. Everything's back to normal now, after the April Fool's joke I tried to make, but couldn't meet the deadline. And today's episode is actually one I was triggered to talk about because of a game I have been grinding for a month non-stop. So I thought this would be the perfect foe to talk about to tie in with finally beating it. And with that being said, take a look at this. It's all in your best interest. <sighs> Filling my life with this pressure. Demanding the results that you want. Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am... I am... Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <laughs> Tell of an acceptable <laughs> consenders. You'd strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well, if those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... That's right, Kasumi Yoshizawa, as we're going to call her Violet, is who we are going to talk about today. I thought I've done Yunara Kami and Makoto Yuki already, Joker's already in Smash, and I thought after playing Persona 5 Royal, I found the perfect candidate to be a second Persona rep. And that, I picked Kasumi Yoshizawa, as we're going to call her by her Phantom Thieves codename, Violet. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the gimmick, in Smash Bros, Kasumi Yoshizawa, known as Violet, would bring a unique twist to the battle with her persona, Saint Leon. Much like Joker, she taps into her power of her persona to enhance her abilities. However, while Joker focuses on swift strikes and cunning tactics, Violet's playstyle revolves around elegance and grace. With Saint Leon by her side, she gains access to dazzling aerial maneuvers 
and powerful dance inspired attacks. Because she's an acrobatic in Persona 5 The Royal, unlike Joker, I thought I would include that within Kazumi. Her final smash unleashes the full force of her Showtime attack, where she partners up with her Persona for a stunning display of strength and finesse, culminating in an electrifying all-out attack that knocks foes off the stage with flair. For the moveset, the neutral special, we have Saint Leon's Strike. Violet summons her persona, Saint Leon, to charge up and unleash her powerful energy blast at her opponents. The longer the special button is held, the stronger the blast becomes, allowing for variations in power and distance. The side special, we have Swift Mirage. Channeling her ability, Violet quickly dashes forward, phasing through enemy attacks and striking with a swift, piercing attack. This move can also be used as a recovery move, aiding Violet in getting back onto the stage if she's knocked on. For the up special, we have Aerial Leap. Utilizing her acrobatic skills, Violet performs a graceful leap into the air, aided by Saint Leon's magic. This move provides vertical recovery while also dealing damage to any opponents caught in the leaped path. And for the down special, we have Mirage Counter. Like Joker's Rebels Guard, Violet adopts her defensive stance, awaiting an opponent's attack. Upon successfully countering an enemy strike, Violet and Saint Leon retaliate with a swift counterattack, dealing significant damage and launching foes. And for the final smash, we have Showtime Fusion. Violet unleashes her ultimate attack, combining the power of her Showtime and All Out attacks from Persona 5 Royal. She calls upon her allies performing a dazzling coordinating assault against them, dealing massive damage to any opponent caught in the devastating combo. The attack culminates in a spectacular finisher launching opponents off the stage with flair and style. For the alts, we have Phantom Thief Attire, Gym Uniform, Summer Casual, Winter Coat, School Uniform, Dance Outfit, tracksuit and formal attire. And for the classic mode route, we have a royal performance. Round one would be Joker, round two would be Pokemon Trainer with Squirtle, Ivysaur and Charizard, round three would be Little Mac, round four would be Marth and Lucina, round five would be Ness and Lucas, round six would be Joker with Arsene and Bayonetta, the final round would be Joker with Arsene. For the stage, I went with Nijima's Palace from Persona 5, which released in 2017. Since Joker did not come with a palace-themed stage, but he ended up getting Mementos as the stage instead, I thought with Violet that I would pick a stage themed after one of the palaces in the game. And my favorite was probably the palace belonging to Sai Nijima. So I thought, why not pick Nijima's palace for the stage? And set within the elaborate casino themed palace belonging to Sai Nijima, players will battle atop shifting platforms adorned with slot machines, card tables, and vibrant neon lights. As the stage transitions between different areas of the palace, such as the main hall, the slot room, and the VIP lounge, players must adapt to changing terrain and environmental hazards, including the spinning roulette wheels and the cascading poker chips. So guys, what did you think of Kasumi Oshizawa, or Violet, whatever you want to call her? I am going to do a rep from Persona 1 and Persona 2 Innocent Sin in the future because those are the only two Persona games I've not covered in a new foes appeared yet. 
but I thought I like what I did with Kazumi Yoshizawa and I hope if Joker returns in the next Smash game, Kasumi is added in as an Echo for Joker. Since their movesets and outfits are identical to each other, so I could see an Echo fighter working out well. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on, so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB-8 out.